Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my video. So right now I'm stuck at a train station trying to get home and my car is not starting at all. So basically, uh, this car hasn't moved in like, you know, like eight hours, more than eight hours. So came back, got off the train, Got into my car, ready to go home. Turn the car on. I mean, everything was, everything seemed to be working, but apparently this car is not cranking. It's not cranking at all. I mean, I'm not hearing anything but a click. Um, so the radio had the radio on. It was working. Um, all the lights on the dash seems to be good. The uh, the blower motor works, but um, aside from that, it's not cranking up. And I've tried about fifteen times already to crank it up. <sighs> so, so okay. So, I mean, situations like this, um, I'm gonna. I thought it was the battery. It's the first thing that came up to my mind. Came up. So I'm like, maybe I left the lights on, right? But it's funny. But all the lights everything else works so left the lights on maybe the battery is kind of low in eight hours leaving the lights on this battery should be dead but anyway i turned on the headlights went out just uh you know just to see how bright the lights were and the brights are the lights are really high it's it's you know the, the they're bright really bright so i'm like <clears throat> it's probably not the battery you know it's probably not the battery and uh Probably not the alternator either because I don't think it's the alternator because uh, the car was not running. The car wasn't running when you know when I had I had this issue. You know the car was completely off for eight hours. I came back, tried to start it, and nothing. So what am I thinking? Probably not the alt. It's not the alternator. I don't think it's a, a dead battery or a battery that has. Because normally, I mean, I've had situations where the battery, you know, I left the lights on or whatever, and the battery's not completely dead. But you know, when you when you turn it, it'll be you'll hear like a slow crank. Sometimes you hear a click if like if it's like totally dead, but you hear like a slow crank or whatever. Or some kind of noise, or some firing noise, you know. It'll be like a firing clicking noise, but this situation is more like a one click and then nothing. One click and then nothing. So I actually have uh, a jump pack um, in my trunk that I haven't used. Um, I, I, I haven't used in like, I don't know, like six months. But um, I was hoping it was all charged up, checked it out, and it was, you know, like 75% charged up. So um, I try to jump it, and I get nothing. I get nothing at all. It's like I try to jump it, I get nothing at all. No, uh, no difference as far as, you know, noises the car is making and stuff like that. So... Um, and this is a pretty big, uh, this jump pack that I have is a pretty, you know, it's, it, it's rated, it's one of the big, you know, it's, I, I got one of the higher wattage jump packs. So, um, so I'm like pretty sure it's not the battery that's, that's the, the issue. It's not the alternator. So a couple other things it could be is, it could be, uh, I know there's a brake switch, um, and uh, I noticed as uh, I've seen videos um, about brake switches not ca causing the car not to start if there's a brake switch issue but um, here's the thing about it I don't think I'm pretty sure it's not the brake switch it's not like I took it out or anything like that but I did put um, I had this uh, long crowbar and I put it between my brakes and in my seat I went out to check to see whether the brake lights work and the brake lights do work I mean sometimes the you know if, if the brake switch is the issue you can test that out you know because um, if the brake if you're not 
if, 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 it's, if it's not starting and the brake light is not on, it means the brake switch is, you know, dead or whatever. You need to re replace it. But no, the brake lights came on. So then I'm thinking to myself, it could be the the uh, the fuse or the relay. So I'm gonna try to rule out the relay because I don't think the relay is causing this issue because I'm hearing a click. Normally the relay relays electricity from the battery to 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 the uh, solenoid, and you, normally when you hear a click, that means that there is there's juice going to the solenoid, but the motor is not cranking over. So I'm gonna rule that out. So I'm thinking maybe it's a fuse, um, which I don't think it is, because the other two occasions where I've had an issue with the fuse, um, the car either was completely dead, dead, like I no lights anywhere, you know, the radio not wouldn't be working. That's not this situation. Or it would crank and it just, you know, you know, it wouldn't just it wouldn't start up as soon as you it's. It starts up like a second and it just die out. That's not this situation at all. So I don't know. I don't think it's the fuse. But I'm thinking at this point that um, it's the starter. And uh, I was thinking about maybe going out and just hitting the starter a couple of times to see if um, the car starts up. And uh, But I'm, I'm probably not going to do that. Uh, uh, I'm going to... I called AAA about, I don't know, 15 minutes ago. And I'm just sitting here um, waiting for triple A. It's going to take them about an hour, an hour, 30 minutes to get here to tow my car. Um, and I think I'm going to have to change the starter on this. Hey, guys. So here's the news. It was my starter that uh, was causing my car not to start. And I did get it changed out. And once I got it changed out, the car started up right away. And it's been starting, starting, starting with any issues. So um, I am 100% sure. Well, at this point, obviously, I'm 100% sure. But yeah, it was a start that caused it. Um, yeah.